everyone, it's Desiree, and it is December 1st, and we all know what that means. It's December with Simon Says Stamp. Yeah, this is like the second favorite month. Yes, you had Stamptember, and then now we have December, so it's awesome. This is the die that I'm going to be featuring, and it says Live in the Moment. Um, and that is the size of the die, so this is a great size um, to work with. Um, and it is in uh, sections, which I think is great. Now, of course, I totally forgot to hit record as I was making my balloons. So I am using the balloon dies by Simon Says, and there's five different sizes in there. And I used my um, oxides um, to put the color down. Now I'm going to come in for this panel with my, excuse me, tumble glass. I'm sorry, I used my Gina K inks for the balloons. I'm so sorry. Um, I used key lime, grass green, powder blue, blue denim, dusty rose, and passionate pink. For my background for those balloons, I'm going to be using my oxides, tumbled glass, and faded jeans. So I'm putting a lot of the tumbled glass in the center and just coming around the outside edge of the faded jeans. I am not looking for a perfect blend. I want this to look like the sky. <clears throat> and when we look up into the sky, we have clouds. We have those different shades. So that's what I was looking for. I'm going to place this down onto a black mat. So this card is going to be a five by seven card. And I will be using my uh, Tonic Studios card bases for that. Now I'm just playing with the arrangement of my balloons. Now, of course, you know that big pink balloon. That's where my die cut is going to basically sit. But I'm going to come in with some twine um, just to wrap around the base of the balloons. And I'm going to wrap that around that lip and then I'm actually going to string it through that back there so that it just stays in place. And I'm going to do that to each of them. Now this real small one, I'm just really going to tape to the back there um, just to hold that in place. <clears throat> yes, I'm doing all of my voiceovers at like 2 in the morning. <laughs> I have a lot of coffee with me right now. Yes. So once that's secured, then I'll be able to trim that, and then we'll be able to do the same thing. Now, the one for the green balloon, it kept on shifting, but that's okay. I pretty much just get that glued um, in place, and then I won't have any problems. It'll just stay in place. For the medium one, I'm actually going to use a needle to thread that through. <clears throat> because it does help to lock that in place so that that band stays around it. I am absolutely in love with the size of the largest balloon. I mean, it's almost the size of a card front. It's awesome. And that's w the other reason why, basically, I went with a 5 by 7 card base. Knowing that this one was so big, and I really do want that sentiment, that die that I'm featuring, to sit in the middle of that balloon. Um, so using a lot of foam squares, we're going to set that up towards the upper left hand side. And I did make sure that when I die cut my sentiment, I did die cut it multiple times. I do love a card with a lot of dimension, um, which is something you always have to be careful of, uh, especially in your postage. You will pay more postage when you have more dimension set on your cards. You can see this die is set in pieces. 
um, which I think is really cool. So you could just leave it as live in um. Okay. <laughs> or you could add in the omen. <laughs> Oh, come on. It was a little funny. So I did die cut that three times. Um, and I did actually save all of the eye dots, um, for the two eyes in our piece. I was really surprised that I didn't lose those. And of course that little tiny one glue kind of just went all over the place for that one, but that's okay. And then we'll just put the other balloons where they just need to go. You can see I'm fiddling now with that loop because that came off my balloon and it must go back in place. And we're just going to press that down to make sure that the glue starts holding it. For the smaller one, we're just going to add a couple of foam squares to the one side because it will hang off of the pink balloon and we'll just set that there. I'm going to let the tails of the balloon just hang there. I'm not going to secure them down. I am going to add just a few highlights with using my white gel pen and I'm just getting it started on my finger um, just to give those words a few highlights so that they'll stand out even more. Now, by all means, it is in black, so it will stand out, but it helps to define it just a little bit. It's no different than the highlights that I did put on my um, balloons to get those started. I do make these lines very sketchy, um, nothing perfect, but I think it just helps to give that sentiment a little bit of dimension. So I hope you enjoyed today's project featuring Simon Says Stamp December month, um, live in the moment. And what a wonderful phrase for right about now. All the products that I use will be listed down below in the video description as always. And if you have a question, make sure you leave that down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. By all means, ring that bell. And if you're curious on any other videos, here's one or two for you to check out as well. Enjoy your day, continue to stay safe and healthy, and always remember what's most important for me, even if you just do it a little bit. Always be creative. Till next time, guys, and take care.